Markel. You're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, behind the strip, Paradise and Train. Welcome to Las Vegas. When I uh, talk about Las Vegas or ask questions about Las Vegas, I always hear about Donna Street, the Gersons, oh. like these areas are known, at least to me. I'm not from here, never lived here, but I know these areas. What is it about these areas that that puts them on a map like that. Those, those are real, like actual, real Las Vegas games. <laughs> Besides the game that's out now, certain games is like what's well, opposite of what they are now. Some of these games come came from California, and they don't really know shit. Like you know, West Coast Bloods, like he said, it was Crips before. Now they Bloods. You got the Pyros out here. They Pyros on with. What, what's the really are out here? West Side Power Rules, I guess. And you got you know what I'm the Jets, the Playboys, Bloods. They Bloods out here, you know what I'm saying? California, they Crips. Let's talk a little bit about you. Like, uh, you came up here in, in Vegas and you got affiliated with the streets at a young age, right? Like 12, like 12, 13, yeah. What would you claim it? 60s. The world famous rolling 60s. Yeah. Crips. Now they got those out here in Las Vegas. I do. And what's that like? It's different. Real shit is different. Cause I, I mean, they every time I, I bring I bring them up, they feel like I'm disrespecting them or I'm bashing them. I'm just keeping it 100. I mean, it's all. I mean, they feel like I'm from LA because I, I mean, my, my hood is in LA. So they feel like uh, he, he bashing us. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why you from, I'm see from Vegas, why you bang Vegas six? I'm like, because I got my car from somebody from, from LA. Straight up. And even he was like, don't bang shit out here, you know what I'm saying? You be from Vegas, but uh, nigga, you my, you my little homie. So many words. So that's what happened with that one. So, so what's the main difference? What is the difference between sort of the, the Las Vegas 60s and the LA 60s Crips? A lot of it's a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of politics out there in LA. A lot, a lot of politics. It's a lot. Cause that, that, that hood out there is is different compared to anybody else. Sixty gang in, in, in the state. But since it's the West Coast and it's New Vegas and the only this you know sixties out here, uh, it is what it is. You know, it's, they different. It's, it's it's a lot of a lot of LA hoods out here. I can say that. It's a lot. Gang of them. In certain areas, you can you feel that you can got you got that feel. In certain Vegas areas, they like you know like it's like California niggas around here. Do do these Las Vegas dudes feel like there's too many LA guys coming around here and they feel a little funny about that? Uh, yeah, I mean you hear it a lot. I mean certain hoods don't give a shit about it, but it is what it is. I was in foster home. So, I ain't had nobody to look up to real shit. And as growing up, I seen a lot of shit as a under teenage, high, uh, fucking middle school started. I started seeing gangs around. And being around the shit, but not even from nowhere, but crazy being, being me, but not being like, I'm from, I'm from somewhere, but I was in that era of that menace, you know, trying to fit in, I guess trying to be cool and shit. So that's what that, that, that's what started with me. So being a foster kid probably had a big impact on your life. Oh yeah. Can you talk about like, did, did you go from like home to home to home no, or what no, was that like? Just, that one home, that one set home. Cause my, uh, I have a pops from a gang out here on the west side and uh, he couldn't take care of his shit. So he, uh, Disappeared, whatever. My mama gave me gave me up uh, during adoption, during birth, and a little family shit. I, I guess I'm, I got it, it. It got some kind of connection with me with to stay around. Cause I was a, I got a lot of brothers all all over Las Vegas. So that uh, kept me kept me us uh, basically uh, connected. Now, how, how do you feel about that? Um about your dad or or a man in particular that has a bunch of kids but ain't there to, to raise them and to be in the lives uh, of these of their kids such as yourself 
I mean, I didn't even give a shit because I even didn't care about, about thinking of who my pops is as a child. The fa my foster parents raised me good, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Have some respect for yourself. You know, when I was an asshole, they want to listen. But I still had some smarts. Besides, you want to be in the streets and shit, want to be some or, or, or get my name out for nothing, you know, shit. Now, what about your mom? Did you ever, you have you met her? No. Nah. Never? No. Nah. Do you know if she's still alive? No. Nah. I really don't know nothing. I really don't. I mean... You didn't talk to your pops about that when you met him? We didn't even talk. We, he, my cousin told me where he was. Uh, I met him. He didn't even say much. He knew I was his son. That's about it. <laughs> he went back in the house. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, though. To me, at least. I, I mean, as I, I, I much I wanted to say a lot of shit, like on some man to man, like, what the fuck? Yeah, it, it, it wasn't no connection. I don't know, unless, I mean, I don't know. So, what's it like out here uh, um, on an average day for you, man? Full time father. I don't do shit no more. <laughs> I mean, motherfuckers feel like, just because I dress how I dress, I feel like niggas feel like stay inside. I'm like, what the fuck? I got kids. I got a 16-year-old kid. I got other step kids. I, I still I got a claim. So I'm a good father figure. You know what I'm saying? I take care of my business. Even though these little motherfuckers think I'm sitting out there hanging with the homies or gang banging or whatever. Hell no. It's 2018. I mean, if you don't got your shit together, why are you banging? Why are you banging, period? Fuck it. Straight up. It's too old, man. It's, this shit watered down. It's not how we used to be. 80s and 90s. Real shit. Me, I'm gonna be out in the streets regardless. I gotta take care of my responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? I got approached by some youngsters of some old bullshit. And they think that I'm saying, oh, he, you know what I'm saying, big brother 60. He, you know what I'm saying, let's test this nigga out. You know what I'm saying? I got, got a little informant like, following you, telling it other somebody else, hey, he up here, let's follow him. They follow me, you know what I'm saying? They feel like, oh, he got his kids. Nigga, fuck his kids. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just get him now. That's disrespectful. Like, for real. You, you, knowing you got kids yourself, how would you feel somebody, you know what I'm saying, put up on you on some on some tramp shit? Straight up. So, daddy, I mean, they didn't do shit. Got on video. I seen the video on, on social media. I just laughed at it. Like, man, are you serious? Don't make it, don't, 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 don't make the, uh, the scene like you did something and you, you didn't do shit. So, they made it seem like, oh, you a buster. Nigga, nigga, you make the 60s, nigga, you, 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 you make your hood look bad, and yada, yada, yada. I'm like, nigga, I got my kid, my nigga. Like, why would I act stupid in front of my fucking kids, my nigga? Really? When, you know what I'm saying? You know why we beefing because of bullshit. When I called your ass out, nigga, and you didn't come out the car. Your homeboys came out the car, but you, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Mr. Kingpin, you ain't got the car, though. And now, you know what I'm saying, got motherfuckers following, following you. All Las Vegas, they see me. I right, he up here. Oh, my, hey, my kids up here too. You, you forgot that? Like right, I could have had a gun. I could have anything to pop shit off. I'm a, I'm, I'm ignorant. No matter how old you are, you know what I'm saying. I'm still ignorant with the, with the bullshit. But don't, don't, don't touch yourself. Thanks for watching StreetGangs.com. Please like and share the video you just watched, and leave a comment below to tell us what you think. You can also watch two of our previous episodes to the right. Please visit the link to our Patreon page and support our campaign. And don't forget to subscribe.